and kind of the, the world's out to get us mentality. So they need to stay positive, keep working, and, and uh, you know, try to get back on top of the game. But Newman certainly has had the better of the play here the last couple minutes. Corvo with the header. It goes wide. Nice ball from Steinbrunner. Steinbrunner has the goal that tied this thing up at 1-1. Lamb scored for Annelie in the first half. Steinbrunner for Newman here in the second half for Steinbrunner. That was goal number eight on the season. And give Corvo his 24th assist of the year. Amazing. That one slides through, and Benucci wanted a foul call, didn't get it. It's going to be a corner for Newman. And they immediately push everybody up. Quick corner for Corvo. Corvo trying to find a cutter. And this is going to be another corner as it's sent out by Murakami. And now David Steinbroner will take the corner kick for Cardinal Newman. Look for Ziegler or Anderson to get on the end of this using their height. Ziegler, but it goes high. Very dangerous, pushes on out of the back. Good timing and just rises above and puts it a little bit high, but a great opportunity there. You see Patrick. Coach Dixon's got to be feeling good there. His assistant, Tom Corvo, Ryan's father. Schmidt getting it across to Emmanuel Hernandez. Hernandez had the assist for Annelie earlier. Centering it up. And Sigler steps in front. Now there's a whistle before that. And the call is going to go against Cardinal Newman. Foul call out on that left wing. And it's going to give Annelie a nice opportunity. 32 and a half minutes to go in this NCS 3A championship. There's the Ursuline Bears wearing their championship medals, trying to cheer on and inspire the boys team here at Cardinal Newman. Hernandez trying to turn it. Kept alive by Newman. Murakami running it down. Reyes steps in front but sends it out. Hernandez doing a good job. You can see the pull there by Evan Chambers. That should should be a yellow card because it was right in front of the official. And it is going to be a card. Chambers yellow carded. Liam Muller, originally from Australia, is going to be coming in to give Chambers a spell here. So Mollers is in and Chambers is out. 1-1. One, one. Steinbrunner, very active, runs it down. Hamilton Smith now. Collision, no call. Sigler. Patrick Siegler slides it ahead for Steinbrunner. Steinbrunner winning the foot race. Centers it up. Hackwood didn't get much of it. Ball centered again, and now Hackwood has it. Will Reeves had an opportunity for Newman. And Hernandez tries to run it down. 
Getting there first was Arthur Barr for Newman. Newman bench. Got to be feeling good getting that equalizing goal quickly here in the second half. It's exactly what they needed to have happen. Even this matchup. And now with over 31 minutes of action left. Muller with a nice pass, finding Corvoto's feet. And now Jamero whistled. Is he going to get a yellow card? Justin Jamero. sure if he's going to get carded. Apparently not, but he does pick up the foul call. foul call against Newman. These a little frustration here for the Cardinals. These are dangerous. Again, you give a team so many of these opportunities and uh, it's only a matter of time before they, they find the, the correct timing and service to get on the back of the net. Carlos Hernandez will hit this one. Sigler with a nice defensive play. Moeller can't get it as Carlos Reyes came in right over the top of him. Steinbrunner with the left foot. Amundsen trying to turn it around, and he wins the ball. Throw in for the Tigers. Reyes again colliding with Romero. Hernandez looking for space in the midfield, and it's compacted a little bit, but uh, Newman's pushing up. It looks like another, another wow, set another piece call. opportunity here. Newman clearly has an advantage in the, the back with the height of Ziegler and Barr, Anderson, but uh, again, it's a little second ball opportunities, whatever it be. You can see Coach Dixon's not happy. These are, these are dangerous situations for any team. Defensively, not one you want to give up at this stage in the game. Just under 27 minutes to play. Murakami brings it inside. Hernandez tries to play it from the right wing. Moeller running it down. Man, nice play by Hernandez. But the whistle going against the Tigers this time. Looks like a corner kick. Hernandez set to take it. Dangerous put, put the ball under pressure and... Uh, Won the corner there. Oh yeah, the slide in right there does give the corner to the Tigers. Long run from the outside and Seelock snags it. Murakami with that long shot on target, but Seelock was there. Giacomelli to the near side. Schmidt turns it around. Hernandez trying to work in space, but Siegler makes a nice play. Wow, Siegler somehow not only turned that around, but kept, kept it in the play. field of play. That was impressive. Got it to Rabello. Very nice. Newman is going to sub now. Moeller will check out. Chambers will check back in. Also checking in is Ian Boyd. 
I believe it's the first time we've seen Boyd tonight. As Moeller does his job. After Chambers received the yellow card. Dixon looking for some fresh legs. Here's Corvo. Cuts back to his right foot. Corvo got something on it, but sent it just wide. Last touch by a Tiger, however. And it will be a corner kick for the Cardinals. Dangerous, dangerous situations. There you see Anderson and Ziegler. Corvo whipping a ball in. The header goes just wide. And again, it's only a matter of time before they connect and find the, the correct timing and service to, to capitalize on one of those like the Tiger did earlier. Steinbroner. Lamb, the goal scorer for Annelly. Oh, Tiger going to the turf that time. That was Brian Benucci, a Steinbrunner. Played the ball, but also got a lot of the leg of Brian Benucci. Tell you, Amerson, he's uh, doing a good job on Corvo, but he's letting him get in behind. And you can see right here, another, another situation. Letting him get in behind, and he's got to be careful with Corvo's speed. Sometimes he's overplaying him, stepping in front of balls, trying to win him, but the one time that he misses, that's what Corvo waits for. And a... Steinbrunner goes down. Benucci, things getting a little physical, a little bit emotional now. Corvo sends it in quickly before Annelie can get set. And oh my goodness, Sigler was there. Here it is again. Watch this. Grabs his shorts on the way down there. And uh, fortunately, uh, Steinbrunner's wearing some sliding shorts there because. <laughs> Brian Benucci. Here's Ryan Corvo now for Newman. David Steinbrunner. Steinbrunner scored the goal, although it didn't find the net. It did cross the line. Here's Mitchell Hackwood. Hackwood argued the call vehemently. Nonetheless, the score is 1-1. Pretty intense pace, Chris, in this game. It'll be interesting to see if these teams can hold it up for 20 more minutes. Yeah, I think uh, you know right now they're they're both trading chances, and Annalee, I've been I've been very surprised with Annalee's ability to stay with Newman throughout the entire game, and certainly uh, they're they're uh, dangerous. They got their own talent with Carlos Hernandez and Schmidt and Lamb, and uh, it's it's been great back and forth soccer. Here's Lamb. Lamb again. Newman takes it away. Steinbrunner looking for Corvo. Oh, and Corvo perhaps showing a little bit of tiring effect right now. As he goes down, first time we've really seen him lose his footing tonight. They get it right back to him. Reyes misses the header, finally gets it on the second opportunity. Chambers has it for Newman. Annalee's got to be careful. That weak side is wide open. And when these balls get whipped in. Rebello, nice pass. Hamilton Smith with the goal. Darius Hamilton Smith. Beautiful pass from Andrew Rebello and Newman takes a 2-1 lead. Very relaxed, very calm on that passing. They saw the opportunity, didn't overhit the ball. And they take the lead. You see Hamilton Smith, who's a good, cool, calm finish. Rebello got a nice ball. 
whipped it in, and he uh, now looks like he's going to push into the back to help anchor that back four. Nice little ball in and just found the back of the net there. Newman's going to shift now back from a 3-4-3 to a 4-4-2, so it'll be interesting to see how, how that impacts the Annalise team. And Ryan Corvo immediately tries one and hits the backside. Paul Dixon has got to be pleased. Great second half for his Cardinals. Peter Meekin on the other side. He's got to be wondering how much his Tigers have left in the tank at this point. Call that goes against Newman. So one thing that's got to worry Paul Dixon is definitely a lot of foul calls going against the Cardinals and giving Annalee opportunities to set things up. And they've been able to dodge the bullets in the second half so far, but that can only last so long. Without a doubt, these are all dangerous. This one's a little harder because it's straight on, but... Uh... Amundsen, oh my goodness, an own goal for Newman. Oh my goodness. Amundsen hit it on target. The Cardinals tried to flick it over the top, I believe, and it's an own goal to tie it up at 2-2. I think Ziegler wanted to uh, clear that and just, you know, it was a little bit off balance. Ball was a little bit behind him. Seelock came and thought he was going to, you know, have it himself, and the combination of those two led to the uh, equalizing goal. Big momentum changer there for Annalie. And here you can see, ball comes in. Well, one might say that uh, they've traded goals that uh, maybe could have, should have, wouldn't have been. And uh, here we are, 2-2. A lot of time left. Here comes Sigler. You know he wants to make up for that one. Here's Corvo trying to get it, but Amundsen steps in front and takes it away. Ziegler, a very reliable defender and, and, you know, obviously wins all those area duels. Ball came in and... Uh, I think it was a little bit behind him and, you know, tried to put the extra effort in to, to clear it and was unable to. Well, for those that thought Annalie was going to go away, the Tigers have shown otherwise. So we got ourselves a game here with about 18 minutes left. And that's the thing about those set pieces and the number of opportunities the Tigers were getting. You never know what's going to happen. The ball's rolling around, bouncing around in front of the goal. Sometimes it finds the net even when your own player hits it in. Yeah, and here back on the other end is the same thing for, for Newman. Corvo, very dangerous, controls these balls. And I think Newman with their, their uh, height advantage, you know, is going to be very dangerous on these as well. Hackwood's done great, but uh, we'll see as these develop. Giacomelli with a nice defensive play. Romero sends it back to Corvo. This Cardinal Newman team so adept at finding Ryan Corvo. It seems like no matter who has the ball, no matter where they are, they make one pass over and it. Nine times out of ten, it's at the feet of Ryan Corvo. Well, when somebody scores 23 goals and now I guess that 24 assist, you have a tendency to find him and rely on him a little bit. But uh, he's active as well, which makes it, it helps. He, he positions himself well. He wins a lot of loose balls. And he's the type of player you want the ball with when the game's on the line. For Hamilton Smith, that was his 10th goal of the year that gave Newman a short-lived lead. Will Reeves will check in. The ball put in play, but they weren't quite ready. Ian Boyd comes off now for Cardinal Newman. The officials are going to talk this one over. I'm not sure what exactly the situation is. Is it an illegal substitution? Yeah. 
Newman is called with the illegal substitution. Quite sure what the call was there to uh, issue the caution, but clearly Cardinal Newman uh, fans and coaching staff not not in agreement. But uh, Hernandez with a nice switch. Seelock will take this one. 2-2, two, two, 15 minutes to play. Anything can happen in this one. We've seen it in the girls' game preceding this one, a game that ended up going to a shootout, won by Ursuline Steinbrunner. Jordan Anderson plays it back. Patrick Sigler across to Arthur Barr. Flick looking for Corvo and he can't catch up. Interesting, Newman pushed into a 3-4-3, scored two goals and then immediately dropped into 4-4-2 and it's, it's a tough decision as a coach, you know, when you're Paul Dixon, you've regained the lead, um, but obviously in doing so, you've kind of changed your system and, and created some mismatches, so you know, do you stay with it? Do you drop back into more defensive? And, and obviously, uh, he, he chose to uh, play with a 4-4-2, and now he's pushed back into three front line, it looks like. Arthur Barr pushing out of the back. Great run here. Barr trying to get it over to Corvo again and again. The defense is there. Alex Niefert back that time for the Tigers. Barr with a great run there, pushing out of the back and into the midfield and really putting himself in almost a shooting opportunity. Couldn't quite get a handle on it, but uh, a great run. Two, two, 13, 13 to play. And Patrick Siegler, number 13, chases that one down. Tigers with a nice opportunity. Turned away by Steinbroner. Newman trying to counter. Giacomelli plays it well into the middle. Romero. Chambers now looking for Corvo. Corvo has the ball. Looking for space. Corvo from the 18 shoots it high. Okay. There you see Corvo. He's he's uh, got tremendous work ethic, and he's uh, looks a little bit tired, but you know he's plugging along, and just pushes it high and wide. Goal scorer like him, many goals he has on the year. He's going to uh, keep shooting, keep shooting, and I'm sure uh, Coach Dixon's going to keep encouraging him to shoot. Oh, 
And there's another foul call that goes against Newman. Frustration. Darius Hamilton-Smith called for this one. The Newman crowd getting a little anxious here. Tied at 2-2. Hamilton-Smith, who scored the goal earlier that gave Newman the lead. What a crowd tonight. We've seen a lot of people pack this place in. It was packed for the girls' game, packed again for the boys' game. Imagine we've had at least 2,500, maybe even 3,000 people Without when all is said and done here tonight. Well, people, uh, some stuck around for both games, obviously, with uh, Ursuline and Newman being same school. But uh, I think there's been a lot of people that left and a lot of new people that came. So it should see how many tickets they sold tonight. Patrick Sigler takes it in now, approaching the 10-minute mark. Corvo with an opportunity if he can get there ahead of Giacomelli. Giacomelli gets there first. Great tackle by Giacomelli. I tell you, a little bit less polished the Annalee defense than the Newmans, but uh, same results, crunching tackles, timely tackles. Giacomelli, the junior, making a nice play there ahead of Corvo. Watch a long throw from Anderson. Corvo sending it back to Sigler. Team's trying to set it up. Four players back for the Tigers in their 4-4-2. Jordan Anderson. Steinbrunner, the quick turn. Steinbrunner wins the ball. Corvo bringing it up into the box, shoots, and it's stabbed by Hackwood. Don't believe the ball was going to find the net even if Hackwood hadn't stopped it because it was a bit wide. You can see Corvo sizes it up and really trying to just sneak it in in the near post. And I believe you're right, that wasn't headed for the goal, but Hackwood didn't want to take any risks at that point and did a nice job of collecting it. Corvo, there's that weak side. Chambers, stopped by Murakami. Michael Murakami has played well tonight for the Anley Tigers. I think Newman, if they can look to switch the point of attack, especially in the transition, they're gonna find some openings there. As you saw, Corvo did that. Annalee strong on the ball side, but, but really giving up a little bit of uh, opportunities on the weak side. Doing a little bit of ball watching. Giacomelli plays it long. Giacomelli again. He's done nicely here in the second half for the Annalee Tigers, playing that center back position. Chambers with some space. He'll try it. Send it high and wide. You can see the Newman staff excited, frustrated, maybe uh, a little bit anxious about the way this game's going to end. You got about seven and a half minutes left, a little bit more. Chambers again. Trying to make something happen for Newman. He has six goals, nine assists on the season for the Cardinals. Patrick Siegler. Chambers flicks it back. Steinbrunner can't get there, but Corvo recovers nicely. Steinbrunner now will turn and face the goal. Send it inside. Justin Jamero there, but it's Hackwood who grabs it out of the air. Another cross grabbed by Hackwood. I tell you, they're giving a little bit too much time in the midfield. That time, David Steinbrunner had time to set up, look up, set up again, look up, and, and Annalee uh, really has to put some pressure on the ball there. Amundsen. To Hernandez, Emmanuel Hernandez, but Chambers takes it away. Corvo taking the dump. Nice play by Barr, Arthur Barr with a terrific job for Newman. 
Was Darius great. Hamilton Smith into the middle. And this foul call is going to get the Tigers, and we may see a card here. Murakami is going to get carded, I believe. He is going to get booked. Let's see. Right there. It's like Hamilton Smith that went down. Anytime there's a caution, you need to sub the player, so. A little bit hard to heat of the battle to pull somebody off the bench and throw them into the mix. Especially on a set piece like this, this will be dangerous. Looks like Barr on it. And you've got Ziegler and Anderson, the back post. Corvo. Looking into the middle, nice ball. Great play. Tigers playing some defense in the middle. Looks like they've pushed Jamero to sweeper and pushed Ziggler in into the midfield. So interesting move by Coach Dixon. I don't know if this is permanently or just for the set piece. Corner kick. Cleared nicely by the Tigers. Schmidt. Romero, the miss hit, but Chambers tries to gather it back in. Carlos Hernandez with a whistle in the midfield that goes against the Tigers. A little over five minutes to play. Newman putting it in play quickly, trying to catch the Tigers napping. Here's Patrick Sigler now for Cardinal Newman. Nice play. Michael Schmidt stops it cold, now tries to run it down. Hernandez and Jordan Anderson. Foul call going against Hernandez. 2-2. Two, two. I think Newman definitely looks like the fitter team here today, getting forward with some numbers. Annalee seems a little bit slow getting forward. Ball pushes forward on that one. Schmidt pushes up. And three or four of the other Annalee Tigers who maybe should have joined that attack. Here you see ball comes back. And Schmidt's basically pressing alone and uh, not a whole lot of support underneath, as you can see. That could be by design. Maybe they're trying to sit in and, you know, get to overtime, but uh, clearly it looks like Newman has fresher legs. Nice ball movement here for Newman. Corvo goes to the far side. Steinbrunner trying to get there, does, but Hackwood stops it. Steinbrenner to the turf hard. Newman looking for a call there, but uh, Mike Brown not going to give that one. Miss hit by Arthur Barr will give Annalee the ball under three minutes and 40 seconds left in this NCS championship match in regulation. As we saw in the girls game, two overtime periods, both 10 minutes and both golden goal. Is that opportunity for Steinbrunner again? Steinbrunner stepping in front of the pass. Jamero sends it down the side. Steinbrunner with a huge collision with Amundsen. And Amundsen goes down hard. And it looks like Steinbrunner is going to receive a card. No, I, I wondered for a moment if he might go to the red, but he does get the yellow. Steinbrenner, who really was playing the ball very aggressively, collided with the player, dangerous situation there. And perhaps a situation where he knew he might get carded, but he just wanted to fire everybody well, up a little bit. you can see right here, he came in and uh, definitely, 
was a challenge that deserved a yellow card there. And he was fortunate because from some angles it could have been a red card challenge. This whistle goes against the Tigers. Giacomelli into the middle. Carlos Hernandez takes it, turns Chambers, trying to get it back inside, and here's Hackwood. 2.30 to go. Quick whistle. Proceeding that play, Annalee will get a free kick. In their own half field, but uh, this was similar to the one that they scored on, so a little bit deeper back. Really got to hope to attack the bounce. We are under two minutes, official time being kept on the field. Carlos Hernandez. Corvo, hoping Newman can develop something here in the final two minutes. Sigler pushing up. Sigler coming down the side. Centers it up. Hackwood can't get it, but it goes just over the cross. Patrick Sigler on a nice run, picking a perfect opportunity to bring it up the field but he sends it just a bit high. And we are going to overtime once again. Newman and Anley. Wow, four goals in this game, and the Anley Tigers have hung in with the heavily favored Cardinal Newman Cardinals and send it to the overtime golden goal period. What a match. Peter Meekin getting an opportunity to talk to his boys on the far side. We'll take a break and be back with the Golden Goal Overtime coming up next in the North Coast Section 3A Championship. Right now, let Yardbirds Home Centers help you change your outdoors into the great outdoors at the lowest prices guaranteed. And if you need advice, there's always a Yardbird expert ready to help. Want more from a home center? You can have it at Yardbirds. Your backyard barbecue deserves the best grill. Discover the Weber difference and enjoy old world pottery designs from the pottery merchant. Yardbirds, value for every project, every day. It seems like just yesterday, she fit on your lap. Then it was off to college. It appeared like she was just gone 10 minutes and hello, here comes the bride in a big wedding production. Luckily, when we bought our dream home, we went to Rob Penrose at Western Pacific Loans. He found us the best possible mortgage rates and a loan that was personalized for our specific financial needs. With the flexibility of our loan, we were able to make this once in a lifetime a day to remember. That's Rob Penrose of Western Pacific Loans. I used to smoke a pack a day, but I quit smoking with the American Lung Association's online Freedom From Smoking program, where I found the help and support I needed to quit in seven weeks. And it was completely free. And now, I'm only out of breath when I want to be, and that feels good. Brought to you by the American Lung Association. Welcome back, we're ready to go in the overtime period, tied at 2-2, two, two. Two ten minute Golden goal periods of overtime here to decide the North Coast Section 3A Championship. Annalee takes the kickoff. Newman trying to attack. 
sent out. Carlos Reyes, the freshman for Annalee. Throw it back into him. Justin Jamero tries to head it out. It will be Annalee's ball again. I'm going to go out on a limb and say whoever scores the next goal is going to win. That's a good, good prediction. Unless it's a penalty kick and we're in a shootout. <laughs> Good point. Oh. Newman trying to get it to Corvo. Tigers packing in very nicely. It seems like they were uh, really, I think, caught a little bit by surprise by the speed and ball handling of Corvo early in the match, but they've adjusted nicely and they seem to be marking him well. They've done a good job. I think. Uh, Amundsen, um, you know, he's, he's stuck with them. Ziegler trying to gather it in, sends it through. Giacomelli is there. Andrew Giacomelli has really stepped up his defense in the latter half of this game, done a very nice job. Those centering passes from the Cardinals. Eight minutes to play in the first overtime period. Carlos Hernandez. Hernandez has it again. Hernandez done a good job of spraying balls around here. You can start to see the gaps opening up. The space in between the defender and the attacking players has increased as the game's worn on here. Steinbrunner trying to gather it in. Benucci playing some defense on him. Now it's Michael Murakami trying to gather it in for the Tigers. Ball's still alive. Corvo there, can't get the pass. Hamilton Smith. Sliding it through. Hamilton Smith's been dangerous. He scored the one goal. He's very composed. There you see him. And, uh, you know, one of those situations, he maybe could have taken a more aggressive touch and got a shot off, but he whipped it across, and Corvo just missed on connecting there. Newman Bench standing in anticipation. Under seven to play here in the first overtime. Stepping in front of that one nicely. The Tigers had it momentarily, but they turn it around. Cardinals back on the attack. Will Reeves to Steinbrunner. Steinbrunner has Corvo on the far post. Corvo with the header, and he sends it wide. Great recognition from Steinbrunner. Steinbrunner's been active. Here he is. You know, he has tremendous work ethic. Doesn't look like he's faded, you know, as the game wears on here. Whips a great ball in. Initial flick there by uh, Corvo. Ball played wide to Reeves. Overlapping Steinbroner, and then a great cross in. And Corvo does a nice job after laying that ball off of getting in the back post and trying to get on the receiving end of the cross. Number six to play in the first overtime. I think Annalise trying to take a little bit of the pace out of the game here, slowing down the game, sitting on the, the throw-ins. <laughs> Tigers with an opportunity now. Steinbrunner at midfield. Finds Corvo, but he hits it too hard. I think both teams are showing a little bit of tiring effect right now. Starting to run out of gas just a bit. The center of the midfield really is where things are opening up. And I tell you, if, if an opportunity is going to start from anywhere, it's going to be from in that engine room there. Foul call going against Jordan Anderson. He shows his displeasure with the call. It's just a Newman crowd. Under five to play in the first overtime period. 
Dana Amundsen has had a great game for the Antelope Tigers. With a chance to try and end it right here. Now Giacomelli will actually come up and hit this free kick. It's a good ball in. Stein Steinbrenner got a piece of it. Hernandez sending it out. Oh, and another huge collision. Schmidt hurt, as is Jordan Anderson. Anderson, the second leading scorer on this Cardinal Newman team with 13 goals and three assists during the season. And that is a defender, so he's definitely, uh, he's one that they push on on the set pieces, a lot of header goals. Looks like he got hit in the stomach there. Paul Dixon quickly out to have a look at Jordan. And you can see both of them colliding. Looks like Schmidt holding his ribs. Anderson's up. This is a dangerous opportunity when you have somebody like Hernandez on the ball. Very skilled player. Look for him to try to penetrate the space in behind the Newman defense and in between the goalkeeper, Michael Seelock. Here's that collision again. Hernandez getting ready to hit it now. And here we go. Hernandez dubs it inside. Tigers trying to keep it alive. Corvo has it now. As Cardinal Newman gets it out of there, Corvo tries to attack the other way. Corvo against three defenders, slides it ahead to Darius Hamilton Smith. He can't gather it in. Will Reeves does, but misses with the left foot. I tell you, Corvo on the counterattack, very dangerous. Attacks the space, draws the pressure, opens up, plays an unselfish ball. And uh, sometimes I think uh, Dixon would like him to take those on his own when he's scoring 27 goals on the year. Here's Corvo again, he has Will Reeves in the middle. Will he center it or shoot? Steinbroner with the left foot had a good look, but sent it too high. Hackwood with a long goal kick. Annalee's got to do a better job of scooping up those second balls. Amundsen getting it out of the box for Annalee. Heading toward the two minute mark here in the first overtime. Another whistle against Cardinal Newman. Got about a minute and a half left here. Steinbrenner scoops it up. Amundsen takes it away. Chambers trying to return the favor, can't do it. It's Brian Bianucci. Both teams tiring. Steinbrenner can't find the legs to catch up with that one. with the throw in. Carlos Hernandez has it for the Tigers. Foul call going against Newman. Actually, the ball just went out. No, it will be a free kick. So here's another good opportunity for the Annaly Tigers to end this thing. Approaching the end of the first overtime period. It'll be Carlos Hernandez hitting it for the Tigers. Dangerous opportunity here. Header toward the goal. Sealock is there. Annalee's got to recover. They got Newman's pushing up with some numbers. They got to recover in the transition. 
Schmidt taking it away for the Tigers. Ball loose and played back by Sigler. That's the end of the first overtime. We remain tied at 2-2. They'll switch directions and try it again here in the North Coast Section 3A Championship. Going the distance in this one. The second overtime period is coming up next. Growing up, my family was just not there for me. I was 10 when I was removed from my home. My caseworkers at Star Commonwealth convinced me I could outrun my past. See, I could always run fast. Today, I have a full athletic scholarship to a good college. I'm a star success story. Lots more could be written, but not without your help. Visit star.org to find out how. We used to get really stressed about missing our TV shows. While we're young. Then we tried dealing with it. Aromatherapy, acupuncture. Uh, Zen Master. But now with Comcast Digital Cable, we can record our favorite shows and watch them whenever. And we can pause and rewind live TV. So we got rid of our stress remedies, except the Zen Master. I like them. That was then. This is Comcast. Second overtime period underway. And these teams need a goal to send it. Send themselves into this championship finals and take the trophy home. One goal will do it. It is golden goal here in overtime. Chambers trying to gather it in with Carlos Hernandez there, and Hernandez takes it away. The Annaly Tigers in the blue, Cardinal Newman in the red. It has been a hard fought match all the way tonight. Patrick Siegler battling. Alex Green trying to turn the corner and can't do it. Annalee with the dangerous throw in here. Really, each team may be able to generate one, maybe two scoring chances at the most. Oh, this is a set piece opportunity. Even more dangerous here. Annalee's pushing up in one line. They need to have some layers here. The ball slides through dangerously. Steinbrunner, the nice volley the other way. Ryan Corvo dumping it for Hamilton Smith, and he can't catch up. Well, the girls' game went the distance, both overtimes, and then the shootout penalty kicks won by Ursula, and this one. Maybe headed for the same type of finish. Hamilton Smith trying to change that and can't catch up down the line. Both teams looking to take advantage of one last scoring opportunity here. Could be the difference. Newman probably on hole has had the better of the chances and, and maybe the run of the play, but Annalee certainly has had some dangerous ones as well. So it's been a hard fought game. Well played by both teams. Trying to catch up, Arthur Barr ahead of Michael Schmidt. Michael Schmidt has been the one Anley player that has remained fresh and active through the entire second half and the overtimes. And Anley will have a throw in on the near side. Look for him to try to create a corner kick opportunity or isolate somebody. Really got to go forward at this point in the game. Chambers. There's that weak side ball that we talked about earlier. Misplayed defender ball there. Players going down hard and the call goes against Newman. Ursuline girls wearing their medals, their championship medals. Hoping that the boys team can do the same. 6.30 to go. The Annalee Tigers getting more opportunities here in the overtime. Corbo has it. It only takes one touch from him to end this thing. Sends it across. Back into the middle. 
Hackwood is there. Rebello got a good opportunity there and centered it nicely, but Hackwood has it for Hack the Annaly Tigers. Hackwood's been solid all day on crosses. He had the one situation with the goal off of the uh, off the post, but I uh, couldn't really fault him on that one. Will Reeves takes this one down into the corner, looking for Corvo, but sends it just a bit too high. An Annaly player down. Official's not going to stop it. Now does. Newman had the advantage at that point and didn't want to take that opportunity away from them. Once Annaly regained the advantage, he blew the whistle. 5.36 to go. Dana Amundsen, who is the injured Tiger. That's a tough loss to the Tigers. He's done a very good job of just frustrating Corvo all night. And uh, boy, at this stage in the game, you just hate to lose it. But here you see. Ball comes in. Oh, it looks like he rolled his ankle on the turf. So that looks like. Uh, You could kind of see his ankle gave way, but it looks like they're working on his knee, but who knows? Joe Elwood helping out on the Annaly sidelines, the athletic director for the Annaly Tigers. 5.30 to play here in the second overtime. One goal will do it. An opportunity for the Tigers. Can they get it? It's off the cross, and Sealock recovers. Oh, my. A player down again for the Tigers. Oh, and you don't get many more opportunities like that. How did that ball stay out of the goal? Alex Green had a shot at it, hit the post. The ball rebounded out, and somehow Sealock was able to recover. Carlos Reyes, the freshman, also had a good shot at it. But right here, it's Green who has a beautiful shot. The goal is open. And there's Sealock diving on the rebound. Looked like the ball was moving away from him and just tried to get around it. And it looked almost like Ziggler pushed it out of bounds or off the